Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to try and give the shortest and most important blues guitar lesson I possibly can and I want to try and keep it within two minutes. If you miss the live show it's here forever but this is the whole point. There is a change between A7 and D7 that if you reflect in your soloing over the top you will have a very it's a very powerful thing to know and it's also the difference between correcting a wrong note and a right note so to cut a long story short in the a dominant seven this sixth fret this sixth fret on the g string when you go to the d7 that becomes the fifth fret yeah so now every note in in this in the in the in the scale between what is basically the A Dorian and the D Mixolydian remains the same except for this C sharp and C. So it's C sharp on the A chord and it's C on the D chord. If you don't compensate for that, what you end up with is this. That C sharp does not belong on the D chord. So when you're soloing, you have to compensate. I've got a backing track prepared here and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Plenty more where that came from if you want to come and have some guitar lessons with me. That is one very important thing. That's one very important thing that can really make a massive difference to your blues playing. But there's hundreds, well, there's, there's a lot of little things like that that you can, um, little modifications in the chords that once you know that they're there, it'll make an ocean of difference. I just wanted to share that with you. Drop me a line if you want to learn more. Thank you very much.